Um, yeah. Okay. We're going. We're uh, we're 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 going crazy here. Uh, we're up and running, and uh, it's good. All right. Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> I'm Alex. Let me just. Uh, close something out here and let's make sure that we're going on here um here here we go wait a minute let me let me just make sure we're up and running yeah we're going okay there we are okay and we got a whole we got a bunch of people already uh here online so let's go to them uh, we got, uh, let's see here. First of all, we got Charlie Wallace. We got Scott Boddicker. We got Edward Berger. We got Lynn LaFrisco. Hi, hey, how are all of you today? Let's hear. Let's wait for Scott's picture to come in. There's Scott. How are you, Scott? I'm doing great. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, not as many people as we usually have, but it might be because we had our party the other night. I don't know. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you were festive on that party, Edward. That's right. <laughs> You're gonna have a party. You have to be festive. Well, you see, the thing is that nobody knows what we're talking about if they didn't see the program. But they right. can always go over to the Facebook page and look That's at the right. New Year's Eve show, or go over to YouTube and see the New Year's Eve show. But it was a fun New Year's Eve. Yeah. 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 Uh, and Len, what? How did the rest of your night go out there? I fell asleep on the couch about 10.30. You see, that's what, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's kind of funny, but there is really no New Year's for anybody over the age of, of 65. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, what did you do? I fell asleep. <laughs> now, of course, um, we know that Mandy made it to midnight because we were doing the show here. So she's in Georgia in the same time zone. And Steve Bender, we didn't see you at our little party the other night. Uh, undoubtedly, you had something to do with your life. I did. I did. I texted you. I told you I wasn't going to be able to make it. Yeah. So what? Uh, how? How? Uh, how? What did you do? Nothing very exciting. We just well, we watched a live stream concert with a friend. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. What was the live stream concert? It was Fish, my favorite band. Fish. Yeah. yeah. There are people who love fish. There are fish heads. <laughs> I am. I have, I have seen more than a hundred shows. Wow. 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 Uh, and, and I, who was it? I, I worked with, uh, I'm trying to remember his name now, um, but, but he was our, uh, our engineer on the show for a long time. at Sirius XM. And he was a big fish head. He, I've, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of concerts. I've never seen a band transform the consciousness of 20,000 people. How, well, how, how do they do that? Do they sure, hand sure. out drugs or something or what? I mean, <laughs> evolved, but um, <laughs> it's just the combination of the music and the lights. And um, it's like, you know, they, they are consistently like the Grateful Dead at their very, very, very best. That's what people have said. And by the way, Marjorie, you have no idea who Fish is, right? P-H-I-S-H. <laughs> But I don't have any idea who Fish is. Never heard of them. Really, really. Well, I probably... It's amazing to me that they they played a couple of years ago. They did a thing called the Baker's Dozen, thirteen nights at Madison Square Garden, and they sold out all thirteen nights in five minutes. Didn't repeat one song in the thirteen night run. What? And people have no idea. Then people just don't know who they are. They've done it what? all without any airplay. You know that. Yeah. I heard it. What? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What? I've heard of them. See, she's heard of them. Okay. And how did you hear of them? I just in, in life. I mean, I, I'm not a listener of them, but I've heard of them. Oh, you okay. have to get to college. Right? They're a big college mm -hmm. band, too. Yeah. yeah. But how's it spelled again? P-H-I-S-H. P-H-I-S-H. Fish. I just figured that Country Joe left, and it was just Fish left. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Lynn? Ever heard of Fish? I've heard the name, not not particularly interested in, but yeah, whatever. Scott, have you heard of fish? No. Nope. nope. How about you, Edward Berger? I've heard of them, but I don't know any of their music. You know? It kind of blends Grateful Dead with Frank Zappa. It's got that okay. Kind of I mean, it, let me ask you this question. Uh, I don't consider a group a group unless you can sing one of their songs, Steve. <laughs> I could sing. I could probably sing two hundred of their songs, but I'm not really, gonna, really. 
Son of wow. a bitch. I'm impressed. And yet there was never any real airplay on them. Nope. They did it all by treating the fans well, building a base and letting people tape the shows and th- trade shows. And do you think like that, that if they wow. do you think that if the group ever went ahead and did uh uh got you know airplay that they would lose their base that the, it's kind of like the fact that they are a cult thing that oh, makes them a, they have their own Sirius channel there's a fish radio on Sirius yeah, yeah. Oh, okay all right I yeah. mean there were people that you know listen to Grateful Dead who got all upset when they kind of went mainstream and did like yeah. a touch of gray or something like that became yeah. a top 40 hit they don't want that they don't want that well, I didn't want that. I mean, the scene got bad. I, mean, I was a big deadhead, but after that hit, and then he had all these 14 year olds who just wanted to come for the drugs and knew nothing about the music, and it got very ugly for a while. Yeah. Um, Marjorie would have come for the drugs. <laughs> well, Alex say, yeah, like you knew what was happening. What? <laughs> He just said you 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 responded to Steve by saying, yeah, like you knew what, what it was all about. Well, no, I do. I do know because do you remember um, 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 what's his name? Um, he had a nickname on our show. Um, uh, uh, our engineer on at Sirius. Garrett Nixon. or something? What was it? What? You talking about Garrett or what? Garrett. Garrett. Yeah. Garrett was a big Fish fan, and he turned me on to Fish. I mean, I I listened to them, but I didn't see anything on it. You know, uh, I'm sorry to say, Steve. I mean, I'm sure I mean, you, you really you would not be turned on to them by listening. I don't think to their records. You have to go to a. You have to see a show. Um, In other words, yeah. So, but you didn't see a show. You watched the show, right? This they were supposed to play four nights at the Garden. They canceled it because they're smart and they didn't want to yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and instead, they did a, a live stream from a studio for. You know, they played a four-hour, three-set New Year's Eve show for free for the fans. So it's wow. great. Wow, that's cr- that's terrific. That's yeah. terrific. Hey, look who's I there. Hey. I, bet, I bet Andrew knows them. Have you heard of fish? They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and they make good music, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you familiar with fish? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I knew he knew oh. you. Yeah, great. They're sort of the, the, the next generation's uh, Grateful, Grateful Dead. Dead. Yeah. 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 But uh, that, that, that dude that used to be your with Christine Garrett, Garrett. Yeah. the guy with all the saliva, he used to, yeah, <laughs> with all the saliva, yeah, he had like a talk, like you always had a mouthful of spit. I oh, think his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fish, they're they're <clears throat> some people love the albums and some are into the, the live shows. I, I, I they, they had some great that farm, was it Farmhouse? A bunch of great albums, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe I should go out and buy f- uh, one album of fish. Which one would you suggest I buy? There's so, I mean, there's a lot. And there is, I would get a, I would try a live album. There's, they put out the, the 1995 New Year's show is on CD. Okay. And if you don't like that, then you probably don't like them. Okay. They, they were All the right. first, they were the first band that kind of stuck it to the music industry by selling their own stuff. Right. Oh, yeah, they 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 became very wealthy because their fans would buy their stuff direct instead of going through the machine. The right. I mean, in the old days, it was any seat in Madison Square Garden was thirty dollars. Um, you know, where other bands were charging hundred, hundred fifty, and so so people would come every night, and you know, they let you tape the music, and you know, they treat their fans well. That's how yeah, you I'm, do it. Well, I'm that sure was one of the things that the Grateful Dead were known for is you could bring a tape recorder and tape yeah. their music. In fact, they allowed you to put the, the mic on stage if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, they, they had a section at the Grateful Dead shows where like the roped off did. where you could set up your equipment and record the yeah. show. And if you got there early enough, you could plug right into the soundboard. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, Fish, if you're chemically altered, they're even a better band, but I never know <laughs> that. Is- I never oh, who is it? I mean, Barry Manilow is better if you're chemically. Old. <laughs> <laughs> now, now look at look look at Jeff. Jeff looks like he's a deer in the headlights with this discussion. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Don't know what the hell we're talking about, right? Well, I know what fish is. Yeah, so on Friday, particularly. Yeah, I'm for Friday, you, Friday, particularly. They're, they're they're not the beer battered type. Yeah. You know, that that is an old reference, Jeff, one that only you and I, maybe Marjorie, would get about fish on Fridays. 
What was the reference? I missed it. Well, because the Catholics only were allowed to eat fish on Fridays, but after a certain time, I think in the 60s, yeah. am I right, uh, uh, Catholic Scott? They did away with that. Well, no, they, 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 it's still encouraged. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's funny. All the years I worked in a school, they served fish on Fridays. So. Well, that, that's why McDonald's created the filet, filet of fish. Remember yeah. the old, remember the old Cheech and Chong joke? The only meat a priest gets on Friday is none. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Scott's not laughing at that joke. No, I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> laughing at that. <laughs> it's old. It's old joke. So it wasn't. I didn't hee haw over. It. I love seeing Mandy do right now what Marjorie does all morning. Yeah. I'll make fun of you. <laughs> cool work. How's uh, how's COVID down in your neck of the woods? Well, funny you should ask. <laughs> oh, really? Seems like everybody I know has it, including my coworker, so I'm having to do her job. Okay, yeah. but you haven't gotten it yet. No, thank you. Have not. Oh boy. Well, why, why didn't you just? I, what, I, like, did, I was hmm? dreaming that I had it. Like, I kept waking up. Like, I'm so scared I'm going to get it now. Even though I know I, I live, I just don't want to be sick. I'm just, uh, uh, my best friend has it, you know, but I was only. You're, 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 so speaking. So yes. I don't have any symptoms. So it's over a week ago. So <laughs> your, your daughter got it, right? My daughter, well, she never got a test because it was way back in march of 2020 oh, okay. so it had the no smell and no taste and she oh, okay. just got on on a cruise so speaking yeah. of Pretty covid cool. how's shecky doing hear I, I have no idea he could be dead i haven't heard from him like he <laughs> called me from the back? ship he called me from the, the ship saw, Alex, huh the news that said people beware of going on cruise ships well, yeah. CDC recommended don't go on any cruises, yeah, and that's after he already started his Yeah, crew. he was already on the ship. Do you, think yeah. that would have, do you think that would have stopped him? No. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll tell you, here's, here, this is interesting. This is interesting. It might be good if you get COVID right now, Mandy, because chances are what you're going to get is Omicron. And Om Omicron, especially if you've had the, um, uh, the uh, vaccination, Booster and the booster will not kill you, will not hurt you. I haven't had the booster. I, but they say they say that what they found in Africa is is that people did not get deadly sick with it. They got sick, but they didn't get deadly sick with it. But what they got was the antibodies. Yep. And they think that Omicron may actually be the COVID killer. We'll see. We'll say, yeah. You know. Yeah. Almost half a million cases a day in this country. Yeah, yeah. I had. I don't even go outside. I can see it floating in the air. I remember thinking eighty thousand a day was a lot. That's yeah. Right. Well, Shecky isn't back until tomorrow. Now, if oh. if he let's say he survives the ship, let's uh, just say he survives that. Okay. <laughs> well, let's hope. The next thing is he's got to get on an airplane. Right. And the airplanes are a lot of them not flying, so it may take him forever to get home. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm yeah, I was hoping like maybe today you give it a try from the ship, but apparently not. You know. Hello, Mark Thurner. Is Shecky going to be coming in down here, Miami or Fort Lauderdale? No, he's coming in. I think to my is Miami. I think Miami. Yeah. yeah. He might be better off renting a car and going driving one way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, he might wind up doing that. You don't know. I mean, it depends on how easily he can get on a plane. I mean, yeah. thousands of flights have been canceled. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Or whether they let him off the ship to begin with. He hasn't, he hasn't been buried at sea. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, I think he's going to be okay, but I haven't heard from him since... Let's see. He called me in the middle of last yeah. week. He did a he did a, a FaceTime. We did a FaceTime. He showed me the room he was in. He also showed me the water as it went by. You know, he has a deck <laughs> and all of that. And he showed me all of that. Uh, and then I haven't heard from him since. I wrote him a couple of times. I wrote him once. He wrote back. But then I wrote him again, and he didn't write back at all. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, 
I, I just thought he was an idiot to go take the, tr- the trip, but, you know. He's the one that stays in his house and doesn't want to go anywhere. Yeah. And then he goes on a cruise. <laughs> then he goes on a cruise, but he doesn't leave the cabin. So, you know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, look, let's be honest. On a cruise, what is there to see? Once you've seen the ship, that's about it. You know, the, and yeah. yes, they stop off at these ports. It takes all the, days to explore the ship. Huh? No. It takes days to explore the ship. Well, the in this cute. case, it's only a 200 passenger ship. Oh, well, he's got a time. Okay. Ship. He doesn't have one of these things where, you know, they've got an amusement park on the yeah. ship. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so come see our amu- amusement park. Well, listen, I could go to Disney World instead of going on your goddamn cruise. <laughs> you get sick of Disney World. But also, you know, if you take one of these cruises, you get off of these different ports. And I've been at one of these ports you get off of. I was in Belize. And they they have this whole place downtown that is like a ghost town. And the minute a ship is yeah. coming in, yeah. it suddenly fills up with all these stores and shops and everything. And then as soon as the ship leaves, it's like tumbleweed going through yeah. the place. And I, what I saw was, is they were waiting to take advantage, advantage of the tourists. So you can't, you're not going to get any bargains, you know, and the souvenirs you're going to get aren't authentic. <laughs> Made in China. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do today? I, I thought I was looking a little pale. I didn't do this. Wait a minute. Hold on. There uh, that's oh. better. See, yeah. I forgot to turn on the light because there's enough light coming in from the outside. Wait a minute, I look worse. <laughs> no, that's not possible. Anyway. Anyway, uh, you said I don't look worse, Mandy. She was nodding. No. <laughs> I was laughing just because that was, that was funny. That, you were what? I was just laughing because yeah. you did that. And y'all said you had this warm glow on your face. Well, let me ask you this. If all your coworkers and stuff have COVID, is, are you the only one in the office? No, not everybody. I just was being dramatic just my best friend has it my sister had had it and my niece had had it over christmas and you know last year i don't think i knew one person that had it and then i haven't known anybody this year or in 21 so it was just weird that now do we do we know anybody outside of your accountant marjorie who didn't wind up giving it to us but outside of your accountant, i had a meeting with them two weeks ago and we spent about three hours maybe 12 inches apart and two days later, I get a, a G, a, an email from him saying, I tested positive for on a COVID test. So I didn't go outside for the next 10 days. But we didn't, get, we haven't, it's been 10 days and we haven't gotten it. It's been two weeks. Two weeks. two weeks. Tomorrow. Yeah. So I, I, I sent an email to my boss. I said, with the rise in COVID, I'm not going tomorrow. I said, I can work at home. He said, I totally agree. Yeah. And, yeah. Ugh. It's really bad out there. It's like, you know what it is? It's like bad weather. You know, what's the weather like? Well, the COVID is out today, you know. A lot. A lot. I just I just got a text message from the realtor who was going to show my house to somebody this afternoon. Uh had to cancel uh with the client. They tested positive for COVID. <laughs> oh god. It just just came in on the You know, point. I'm I'm wondering yeah. and I we don't have any scientist here who could uh, tell me Yes or no on this. Charlie's a scientist. Charlie. Well, Charlie, you would know something about this. How positive are these tests? I mean, we hear about people getting tested one day and they've got COVID and the next day they don't have COVID. Yeah, especially yeah. these home tests are not very good at all. Right. Really? Oh, okay. According to Brian, Brian Murray. Yeah, he and he knows. Well, he's he's selling the one that costs money, though. You got to remember that. Yeah, but still, no, the home, I trust him. He's not a crazy. Yeah, the home the home tests are bad because people don't swab properly. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. they don't. But they they give you a lot more false negatives than false positives. Yeah. The PCR they say is like ninety five percent, but it's taking. I know people who are waiting for the six days now to get their results. Wow. They say quarantine for five days, but then you're waiting six days for your results. And then you so get your results. Wait hours in line. Yeah, yeah, that was my coworker. She tested Tuesday and just found out today. So yeah. six days. Uh, crazy. Well, then she could be almost over it by now. No, yeah. she's actually really sick. Oh. I knew she had COVID. Like I just had a feeling that 
Did Why, she, she, look, she look covid -y? <laughs> He sounds better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I'm glad I'm, we obviously didn't get it from your from your accountant, but he's about the only person we know that's had it, right? We do. Do we know anybody else who's had it? Well, a lot of Phyllis's friends had it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I friends indirectly. Yeah. Of course, our friends don't have any lives either, so you know, <laughs> they don't go out. Uh, because I mean, uh, I don't, I don't think we know anybody else who had it. To be honest with you, um, my coworker had the booster on Friday, yeah, and she's you know just a healthy forty-something year old. Um, she felt really bad on Saturday. She said so it was like equivalent to her second you know, shot. Well, that, that could, that, that could be, that that's, from, that's from the shot. Well, it didn't happen to me, that's but it happened to Marjorie. She had a reaction to the I had it very slightly. I felt like uh, a little puny, what I call puny that night. And then the next day when I woke up, I was fine, but you were out of it for about two days. One day. I, spent I have day a day. picture of her sleeping with uh, just her face is covered by most <laughs> of the mouth is showing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I stepped out of the apartment at like quarter to eight this morning, and we have a city MD across the street. There was a line halfway down the block. Wow. Yeah. What do people think they're going to find out? I'm going to go get a test, so I'll find out in five days whether I've got it or not. Well, they do the quick test as well. They do both. So Yeah, but the quick test isn't supposed to be as good, right? right. right. But they do I mean, both. I, it, it, the way Shecky described it, he had swabs up his nose for most of the trip every day. You know, oh, here comes Brian Neary. He can answer some of those questions. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. By the way, Brian Neary, now the newly engaged Brian Neary. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he. Uh, Congratulations, Brian. I had to Thank find you. it out on the New Year's Eve show because I didn't go to his Facebook page in days. So I didn't see it, but he posted that he had proposed to his. I took three tests. Three. Three COVID tests today. Today? Yeah, the, the schools are giving out the rapid test. Yeah, um, yeah they're giving out the rapid test to, so there's actually a long line of cars just to pick those up. Then there was a long line of kids to take the, to take it, the test there, but we just did the rapid test to the kids before they go back tomorrow. So wow. yeah, they, they're saying it's not, not required, but it's recommended especially if they haven't been vaccinated, but these they've had both shots so far. So, wow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so, so anyway, you took three of them today. No, no. Each kid, each, oh, each kid. kid took one. Oh, yeah. okay. So those they're are not, they're not pregnant either. Those are <laughs> <laughs> I slipped in one of those just to make sure. Just to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, but my question is, um, are those, do you find out in a few days on those or are those the rapid tests? No, it's rapid test. It's 15 minutes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, they're just like you guys were saying, they're these are like 45 to 50 percent accurate. You're more concerned if they say yes. If they say no, I'm not concerned. But the PCR yeah, is like 95 to 98 percent accurate. So yeah, but the PCR yeah, it, ours ours takes 45 minutes. We get a positive result in 30 minutes. But I don't know why they take so long to get everybody's stuff back. Yeah. Oh, really? In other words, all these tests, they when they do them, they, they can find out pretty fast. Very fast. It just takes yeah. them a while to get back to people. Yeah, but we we have a <clears throat> we have like a kiosk in, in England for like S for HIV. And yeah. you get a text message back within the hour. So it's, yeah. it's pretty quick. I, I just, yeah, I, same as you guys. I don't know why they take so long. On these, on these, on these other tests where you find out three or four days later, do they text you on it? I don't know. Is that what they do? I don't know. Anybody uh, here? Don't... How many people here have had a COVID test? <laughs> okay. I've had, I think, they, I think they, I've text had a whole bunch of they, they text you or it also goes in, into your portal. If you have a portal, you know, yeah, I got an email. I thought it went into your nose. <laughs> no, right, I up, right up the portal right up the portal in china they were taking butt swabs to, for covid they were <laughs> literally inserting and in, for for tourists and people coming in the country can they find out that way 
Yeah. Well, there, there's all this new testing that's being done. They're testing this, the water in the sewers yeah. in, in yes. cities to yes. see levels of COVID in the water to determine how many people have COVID. Yeah, wow. but that's that? supposed to be the... Ooh. It's down your back. way, Mark. Uh, uh, I imagine it's, it's pretty terrible in Florida, right? It broke records. Yeah, 70,000 in one day. In Florida? Yeah. But I think was... New York beat out Florida. New York is getting one. ready to pass Texas for number two on COVID. <laughs> do, do you know why we are so bad here in New York now? COVID isn't governor. Uh, Co Cuomo isn't uh, uh, COVID isn't governor. governor. Yeah. Cuomo <laughs> isn't governor any longer. Oh, is governor. That's right. Really, he did a great job of rallying the troops. He did. Hey, things are getting worse. Put on the mask. Get the test. Do do da da da. And he's not here to be our cheerleader any longer. And this Kathy Hochul is oh, just pathetic. Her voice, her voice. I mean, she's pathetic. And so, uh, you know, I wish we had I wish we had Cuomo back right now, which sure mm. is. Um, and then they hold this super spreader event in Times Square on New Year's. <laughs> I'm going to be interested to see how that susses itself out because it okay. wasn't like, yeah, where you have to wear a mask and you have to be uh, um, have have the uh, vaccination, uh, but now we're going to put you in this penned area where you're shoulder to shoulder and butt to butt, you know. And yeah, right. it's like room because you're not going to be able to leave. Right. Well, Alex, I mean, because, because I'm woke, I didn't celebrate Christmas Eve because they, I'm not celebrating Christmas Eve until they celebrate Christmas, Adam. <laughs> oh, God. God, oh, God. Same with New Year's Eve. I'm supposed to be the funniest one here. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you have to see, if you want to see funny, mm -hmm. HBO, they have the documentary on the life of Bob Einstein, you know, Super Dave. Oh, really? Oh, it's oh, really? so good. It's oh, so it, what is that on Netflix? No, no, it's on uh, HBO. 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 Okay. It's so good. So good. And it's everybody you'd ever want to see in a show about him talking yeah. about him. Marjorie, why don't they you really, tell me? They really capture, they really capture who he was. Yeah. Was Marjorie, so why, funny. why don't you tell him what our new year binge has been? You're still watching. I want to say, I, what was the name of it? Uh, what's the name of it? We've been watching, what, four Emma, seasons of it? At, Emily in Paris? No, no. no. <laughs> we've been watching, uh, we've been binge watching Yellowstone. Oh, it's, it's, I've been it's, watching. Huh? Is it it's good? good? Mandy? Oh. What were you going to say, Mandy? I just said I've been watching it too. Yes. So just... Oh, you've been, you've been binge watching it? Well, I mean, I'm trying not to binge. I'm still on season one, but I started it this week. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, it's really, it's very good. I don't know about season four. I'm, I'm still out on season it's, four. Well, you know what happened? Me into watching Succession. So, yeah. <laughs> is anybody here else here watching Yellowstone or watch? I've it? seen, I've yeah. seen all of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the fourth season. The problem with it is, they changed where they filmed it. They were filming it in Utah, <laughs> playing the part of Montana. <laughs> um, <laughs> And now they're doing it in Montana. And Playing the whole the thing looks, it looks different because the backgrounds are different and the, you know, the fields look different and the house isn't the same house, really. They kind of built one to look like it. Um, and as, as, so I'm, I'm still out on, on season four, but I, we've enjoyed, I mean, obviously we watched um, four, we're into four seasons now, so we must have enjoyed it. Yeah. We've been it. We've, we're into the fourth day. This new one that they created, the prequel, 18... Yeah, I like that show. Oh, that was yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. That's yeah. what got us into this show. Yeah. Because we said, well, you know, I mean, th th that show will stand on its own, okay, because yep. it's a prequel. Um, but we wanted to see the original, so we watched the original. But they haven't... They put up three episodes of 19, uh, 1883... Mm -hmm. And they haven't put up the fourth episode yet. And it's way it's every, It should be up now. It was. I know. Right. It isn't. Yeah, that's weird. It isn't. Huh. You know, so I, I have no idea. Although they did play off two episodes at once. So maybe they're skipping a week or something and in, in putting them out. But it, it's a good show, too. 
But it's supposedly the story of how the whole uh, history of this family began as people who had a ranch in Montana. You know, it's it's funny. The right wing went nuts over season four because they have a uh, like a PETA animal activist on the show. And if you really watch, you know, besides all the violence, it's actually not a right wing show. I yeah. mean, the toughest the toughest character on the show is a woman. You know, it's, yeah. it, there, yeah. there's so many things that, that aren't in line with. Well, what I'm trying nation. to figure out is how does the Indian nation or the Native American nation feel about that show? I mean, it does employ a lot of Native Americans, but it employ, employs a lot of non-Native Americans playing Native Americans. So, you, you know, I wonder how they have you seen anything? Is anybody react? They're, they're positive about how much focus there is on missing Native women. And, and yeah. you know, they, they can't be upset about that because that's a real problem in the country. Wow. The, 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 the abduction. Yeah, yeah they're, they, they're, nobody said, you know, you hear all the stuff in the news, you know, when a white girl gets abducted, you hear it all over the news. And when it's a black girl, there's not much said. When it's a native, it's silent. Yeah. There's wow. thousands of missing native women. Yeah. And, and nobody does anything about it. So wow. that that subject is part of the show. Well, that I'm does sure play a big welcome. part, especially in season three. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. The it's it's a real problem in the country. Yeah, well, we 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 like the show. You know, it's it's okay. Uh, and uh, was there anything else we were watching that we liked a lot? One of the few things we can watch together. What do you mean? One of the few things we can watch. Well, together? there aren't that many things we can watch together. You know, you, you know what she watches over and 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 over. Am I am I over overing, not overing it? But how's your overing? Anyway, it was it's the show out of England called Grand Design, where people decide to build homes and this guy follows them building the home. Oh, you know the show, Scott. For years, for years, he follows them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you've been watch. You watch it. I've only seen the two seasons. I don't know if there's more of them out there. There's Maybe you 20. can get if you're there's a VPR. 20 there's twenty. The heat, it's been on for twenty years 20 in England. Years. Yeah, and, and I, I, I they only put two of them on Netflix. Yeah, well, I uh, they put four seasons on Netflix, but two two seasons at a time, and then they get rid of the other two seasons and put up the new two seasons. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go check. Yeah, yeah. You like the show, huh? Oh, I love it. Oh, my <laughs> wife loves it, too. Yeah, yeah. It's like 20 years. It's I, like... I, watch, I could watch it over and over. The new, the new season of, of Letter Kenny is all right. It's not as good as the previous ones. Letter Kenny? It's one of the funniest things you'll ever see yes. on television. It's a Canadian yes. comedy show. It's a whole, they've, they've redesigned comedy. There's nothing else oh, out there God. like it. It's a new cadence. It's a, everything about it is different. And you watch the first episode and you go, what the hell am I watching? And by the time you get addicted, you can't stop watching it. Letter or, Kenny. Letter Kenny. It's about a tiny little town in uh, upstate, uh, up province, Ontario, with these characters that, that it, it's unlike, it's, um, it's undescribable. Where, where, where can I see it? It's on uh, Hulu. Letter Kenny. Write that Letter down, Kenny. Marjorie. Letter it, you, Kenny. You'll you either love it or you'll go, letter Andrew's letter insane. Letter well, letter I'm insane letter. either way. But Andrew, Andrew, pen. Andrew, do you know a friend just turned me on to it? I have a pen. I just don't have paper. Well, <laughs> I've only seen two of these, but it's incredibly funny. Andrew, do you know um, uh, Staff Let's Flats? No, what is it? The British show Staff is the guy's name. S-T-A-T-H. Staff Let's Flats. He's like a real estate guy. Oh, wow. oh yeah, I saw that. I did see that. It's really, really funny. funny. It's really yeah. funny. Yeah, it's just a, it's just as cringeworthy as like the original. I'll write it down yeah. on a paper towel. <laughs> okay. And he's like the worst person on the planet, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, horrible human. people. These homes. I did. I did watch that months ago. I was doing one of my COVID shows. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, really funny. But this letter, Kenny, and some of it is crass, and some of it, some of the characters will drive you nuts. But the the way that that they've sort of recreated the way to be funny, there's I've never seen anything like it. It's it's a different. A different world than <laughs> well, the, the current. The current season isn't as good as the as the original ones, uh -huh. but it's really funny. Oh, okay. So, but you got to get through an episode before you can catch up to what the hell they're doing. Yeah, because it's so it's so odd. Yeah. 
Um, uh, let me see here. So what else, what else has been happening? Okay. Well, that's our show. for this week. <laughs> <How> about- <laughs> You know who we're missing today? We're missing Mike Chisma is not here today. And Shecky is of course not here today. Um, he's but- watching a Korean dating show. Who? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're engaged Tiffany. now, Brian. You don't and she made that. she made the kids watch it too. It's, it's it, a it, Korean Korean dating show. My, my well, wife won't let well me she's from where? This. She's from where? Vietnam. She's Vietnamese. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know. So can they understand? If, for instance, if you're from uh, South Korea, can you understand Vietnamese? No, no, no. totally no, different language. A different language. I just been, right? I just been watching like the Letterman, the Letterman, his his thing, the no introduction needed. I've been watching some of those. And those are very, very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. You know, um, it's amazing that during COVID, you just the best discussion you can have is what you've been watching on TV. Yeah. You know, we, we saw Spider-Man and the, we saw the, the trailer for the the Batman that looks really good. It is very dark. I think it's the darkest Batman that they've done. Really? Well, the ones that what's his name did, uh, Christopher Nolan, were pretty damn dark. Yeah. This, yeah, this, this one looks really. This looks good, like though. if David Fincher made a Batman movie. You know, it's like really <laughs> dark, gritty. It's like, oh, we're going to finally get a detective story. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty good. Well, because actually. Batman originally was considered a detective, right? Because yes. he was in detective yeah. comics. Yeah. Uh, it, but isn't uh, it, it, which is oh, it's Spider Man that Nolan is? No, no, that uh, what's his name? The first Batman. Oh God. Tim Burton? T- no, no, no. The guy, Adam who, West? the guy who played in Tim Burton's film. Uh, uh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah, he's coming, is, he's coming is, is, back. is he in the Batman? No, no, no. Is he he's in Spider Man? Oh, he's in Flash. No. He's in Fl- the Flash. The Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I, 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 maybe I'm getting too old for this shit. Mm-hmm. But it's just too much of this. You know, if I want to watch a Marvel film, I have to have seen all the other Marvel films in order yeah. to understand what's going on in that Marvel film. And as someone who's seen a lot of Marvel films, I still don't understand the Avengers movies. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they still don't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, and and I just I don't like having I like things that stand alone, you know, that say, OK, here I am. I'm the Batman. Now you can enjoy this without knowing anything about the history of Batman. Mm -hmm. Now, Marjorie understands Batman because I made her watch every episode of Gotham. Gotham, I liked. I like Gotham. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way Batman, that whole story should be told is in a rather dark way. The reason she, especially I got her to like uh, 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 Gotham. Gotham was because the guy who played Alfred is the voice on Master Chef the Professionals, which is a show she loves. Yeah. And he's the guy who describes all the food. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And he was the son of one of the Doctor Who's, the, I think like the second Doctor Who ever. Uh so anyway, but that's the way I got her into that. Mm. But uh I find of all the characters in uh, in the DC universe, I find Batman to be the most interesting. Mm. You know, Batman. Batman, because he he's not a superhero yeah. in, in the true sense. He didn't like get radiated by a spider. Okay, uh, he he's a, uh, he's a rich guy that has a lot of money. He's a rich guy with a lot of money who exercises a lot. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so it's a human being doing what a human being can do. Uh, I mean, it got a little out of hand in the movies. You know, he becomes rather much a superhero, but I like him when he's at his most simple. And that's just somebody who went up to the Himalayas and, you know, trained and then came back and had all the money in the world so he could buy all these tools that he needed for his trade. So 
I f- always found that very good because it was accessible to me, uh, you know, as, as a kid who couldn't do much of anything. But if I really worked hard at it, I could be Batman. Can you open up the closet behind you there and show us your cape? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, the closet is a mess. I got to clean that closet now. You know what we bought? See, this is exciting. We have a new printer. Oh, same here. Huh? I, got yeah, I got a new printer also. Did you really? What'd you get? Uh, HP, uh, Costco. HP something, something, something. I, mine's an HP. I bet it's the same one. Probably. Is it the yeah, one? I, is it, I, is I, it the one where you can scan from the top? Yeah. 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 Is, it, is it the one, one that now? prints stuff? I have. Wait that a minute. One. That's the one we bought. <laughs> yeah. That's the one we bought. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I had fine. a Canon and it was, it was going bad, so... There was a period of time what about else did we buy? Well, what happened was something else went out on us too. It seems like all our all our equipment went out, including mine. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 go for that. <laughs> uh, we got a, a new we ordered. We haven't gotten it yet. A new refrigerator, a new stove. Oh, cool! Oh, wow. Yeah. So because the other one wouldn't bake anything at any consistent heat. The other ones are working. And the other one, it could have been fixed. I could have brought somebody in to fix the re- the thermostat. But the fact is, the goddamn thing is 18 years old. Sure. You know, so it was time to buy a new one. So we bought a new one. Uh, and uh, so that's our other big purchase. What, what are those printers going for? There was a few years ago when I bought a printer. The printers Coming are more in. expensive now than they were back then. When I first bought the other one, which does exactly what this one does. Okay. Yeah with a feeder and all of that you know uh it was like 129 dollars. this was two what 29 yeah 219 220 something like that. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i mean there was a period of time when i was going to buy ink and it was you know 20 dollars a cartridge it was like 60 or 80 dollars and i'm looking at the printers in there and they were 45 dollars i'm like yeah. find another fucking printer well <laughs> they used to they used to run on the razor philosophy you know you sell yeah. the razor but you you make money yeah. on the blades the blade. yep. yeah. mm-hmm. uh and they've stopped doing that i mean these things have gone up in price uh, at 229 230 dollars somewhere around i don't know exactly what that base price was but it, you know, it's gone up, and they're still trying to do a scam you on the ink. The latest scam on the ink is, <laughs> well, why not buy our ink? See, the machine is hooked up to the internet, so right. they can tell whenever your machine is getting low mm-hmm. on ink. And then if you subscribe to this thing, which they give you six months free for, they will send you interesting more ink, dependent upon so how many pages. How many pages you you, mm-hmm. you if you want a hundred pages a month, you've got to pay something like nine dollars, something like that. If you have five hundred pages, it goes up to like twenty-five dollars a month. Well, fuck mm-hmm. that. I can get online, order non-HP yep. rip-off cartridges, yep. and they'll work just fine in there, and I'll get those. Those are up too, but at least they're up yep. to like about 69 bucks. And you get like a thousand pages out of them. Yeah, hey, like there's a piece. There's a piece to that. We we got a printer with one of those for my wife. Yeah, and then I told her I said it's too expensive. There was still ink in the cartridge, so we canceled the program, uh-huh. and ordered ink, and there was still ink in the machine. As soon as the contract was up, they turned off the cartridge. What? Wow. So you couldn't wow. use the rest of the ink in the cartridge. I had to throw it out. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean so, they, they, they turned it off? In the actual, the internet, yeah, yeah, they, in the they, machine they, where they so it couldn't wow. print. With it. Yeah, they said yeah. We, we had paid for a certain number of pages per month. The month was over. We weren't paying. They shut off the cartridge. Oh, I see. But then it, it, once the next month came along, and no, they, no, I and, canceled the program and and thought I could use the rest of the ink, but no, they turned it off. So yeah. unless I re-upped, I couldn't use the ink that was in the cartridge. I had to throw it out and buy a new cartridge. Wow, That's, wow. Well, I'm I'm not signing up for that. No, no. Yeah, it was pretty funny because she was like, I don't understand that the printer won't work. Mm-hmm. And thought, wow. I, you know, she tried to install the driver, she did all this crap. And, and in the end, it was HP turned off the Aren't cartridge. they asking for a lawsuit on that? Well, Keurig did something like that. Keurig came out with the generation two of those stupid coffee makers. Oh, my God. And they made yeah. it with a, with, a, with a reader in it that would read the ink 
And on, the, not, on they, the cartridge, so you couldn't use a non-Keurig cartridge. Oh, so oh. anybody smart would buy the, a Keurig cartridge, cut the ring, and tape it up inside, and then you could right. use the cartridge. Oh. And then, and then one of the companies that competes came out with uh, an adapter. And then when they lost in court, people were allowed to use that ink in there, and and the whole thing fell apart. I'm sure as soon as my ink gets low, I'm going to start getting emails from HP saying, "Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want the yeah. special deal?" But I didn't. I uh, I I can't see that as uh, being right. That I just paid three hundred and two hundred twenty nine dollars for a, comp- uh, a printer, and then I can't use it with whatever ink I want to put in it. I'm sorry. No, no, you can, but you that you can't use that cartridge they gave you past the date. Oh, you can't you use sign that up for the cartridge. cartridge. That cartridge yeah. they turn off. The cartridge they turn off, not the printer. We threw it out. I put in a generic cartridge, and now I don't use HP ink. Yeah. Right, right. And the generic cartridge yeah. worked just fine. Yeah, it's 75% cheaper, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the yeah. cheap bastard I am, I enjoy it. But <laughs> I just don't like, I don't like the way they annoy you with this. Mm-hmm. You know, the yeah. other day, I here's oh. here, here's the annoyance that I was bothered by. OK, uh, I wanted to find out because I was, we were looking about refrigerators. I was looking at someone maybe to fix the refrigerator. So I went on to Angie.com. Stove. Stove. Huh? A stove. stove. So I went on to Angie.com <sighs> and I put in my name and stuff and said, I just want to know how much would it cost to do this? And then it came up with a price. Next thing I know, I am getting phone calls from a live human being, not a machine. I'm getting emails like crazy from Angie. And all mm-hmm. I wanted to do was just find out how much it would cost to do it. And they mm-hmm. keep blah, 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 blah. And I finally, I answered one of the calls from him and said, will you quit fucking calling me? <laughs> all I wanted to find out was how much it would cost to do something like that. I don't need you calling me every five minutes to try and see if I need your help. And if you, you hadn't chewed me out, I'd have fixed it for free. Yeah. <laughs> you sure it wasn't Ashley Madison? Uh, <laughs> you, do, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Boy, would I be in trouble. to me once I wanted to find out how much it costs to live in one of these senior uh, homes that, oh, you know, where all this yeah. yeah, apparently there's a lot of rampant sexual activity in these senior homes. So I looked into how much it is, <laughs> and I got inundated constantly <laughs> from homes I never even heard of. Wow! Asking you know me to come by and visit and do yeah. all this. And by the way, what part of unsubscribe don't you understand? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You know, they say unsubscribe here. You go unsubscribe here. And I still get emails from Angie, but for yeah. other things on Angie. Uh, so finally, I write them back and I go, you know, please, you know, just stop. They finally stopped. But God. You know, a lot of times I'll put in a phony email address. It usually works. I put in fuck.u.com or, <laughs> or blow at me.com. And, and I never get anything because I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I should have put in <laughs> wrong phone numbers and things like that. It, you know, one, one thing I've been surprised about is, you know, when you go to Safeway and stuff like that, you know, they ask you for your phone number, you know, and people say their phone numbers out loud. And, yeah. and you know, I they've been, you know, stalkers and all these other kind of people. You know, what if some crazy guy watches some you know cute girl or something like that and, and then, you know, gets her phone number and stuff? I'm really yeah. surprised they're allowed to do that. I tell them 408 123 and there's my number. <laughs> they, they never call you on it. So that's what I put on all my things. And they look at me. Yeah. I said, dial it up. And they, they look it up. And I say, oh, yeah, there you are. You're right. I use the old landline that I don't have anymore. Here's what I find. Uh, here's what I, I find. always use that number. Here's what I find stupid. I got a text yesterday that said, uh, um, uh, your um, account at HSBC is about to be canceled. Here, Go here to uh, solve the problem. Or whatever. Well, to begin with, if they were really smart, they'd know I don't have an account at HSBC. Well, they, they sent that, Alex, to two million people and yeah. hoping that, that one they, they don't want everyone. They want that one percent stupid. The only person I know who does business with HSBC is Marjorie, and that's through her company. Andrew's still, right there, they're looking for that old person who who, you know, because I get texts like that all the time. You know, I get texts saying, oh, yeah, you blah, 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 you know, and hit this. And 
And, you know, they're just waiting for some person who doesn't, you know, know better and to click on that. You know, what, I get, I get we, emails all the time from my CEO at the, the company yeah. I'm working with right now Wells Barnwell telling me, Bank. telling me that I need to, to write him back because he wants me to do something. And Oops. if I write back, he'll say, we, I want you to get uh, Amazon cards for the employees. Give me the numbers. Yeah, but You know, mm-hmm. we live in a time where, for instance, all of us own either an iPhone or some kind of smartphone. Mm-hmm. They managed to invent that. They managed to invent uh, they ma- this just sent a telescope out into space a million miles so we can see space like it's never been seen before, which I think is wonderful. And uh, 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 yet they can't come up with some small program that will stop these people from getting through to your texts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why yeah. is it these guys can get through? Well, Alex, I got to tell you one. Wait, I got wait, hold on a second. Absolute- Mark knows technology pretty well why don't why don't they invent something you won't let them get through because they keep changing their <laughs> they keep changing their way to get through i mean they they're always changing so it's hard yeah. to keep up with it yeah well i mean I'm, i i just think that maybe if if the government were to hire some kids out of high school they could probably solve this problem faster than any of the mm. current hacks that yeah. we have going there, How would you solve this, Edward Berger, who hasn't said anything for an hour? Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to think about it. I'll come on next week. I'll have the answer. Oh, okay. Good. Good. <laughs> he, just, he just answers with that voice, and they think they got Disney. You know, you know what his voice sounds like? I, I just, I just decided what his voice sounds like. He sounds like what Gilbert Gottfried's father must sound like. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> on COVID. <laughs> so uh, how, how are you in a hotel room there at mark yeah for work. yeah i wonder i wonder I, I suddenly looked at it and it didn't kind of look like the bed you would have in a bedroom <laughs> are the sheets moving yeah why are, where are you where are you you in florida yes i'm still in florida i'm on the other coast well, uh, uh, visiting uh, people and stuff or no it's work it's work related oh okay all right. Are yeah. you being very careful down there? Because, you know, you guys are really. Oh, um, as much as I can. That That's all you can do. You know, yeah. just. Well, you know, we've come a long way in understanding COVID where we're no longer hosing down our packages when they come. Yeah, we, you got to um, post that video again. Which one? <laughs> The one you did, you and Marjorie did the whole, you had the box, remember? And, and you, oh, yeah. the gloves, you had the you hazmat, had hazmat suit on, on. <laughs> you sprayed it down, and you put it in your, your, your little area there for like two days. And then listen, in the beginning, it. we sprayed the beginning. it all down, we let it sit. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know better, but it's still fun to look back at. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's not fun to look back on because we were scared shitless. No shit, yeah. You know, I mean, we we really were frightened for ourselves, and we had every right to be. You oh, know, yeah. we had every right to be, and we still do. I mean, I just don't understand. Mm. It. I guess it's that uh, this Omicron is just more spreadable faster, but it's not as dangerous. That's the good news, and the good news is if you catch it, uh, and you get only a mild case. Uh, you're you're really doubly yeah. um, um, vaccinated because it works as a form of vaccination. So I'm not telling everybody to run out and kiss people to try and get it. You know, that well, was a couple of nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, how is uh, Mandy? How has this affected your social life? And I don't mean dating or whatever, but just your general social life. I mean, it's just like everybody else. I mean, I would say kind of stinks because you can't just go to big you know you can't just mingle around in big concerts or bars or something you know it's just, yeah yeah you can't go through the general dating procedure yeah yeah they on the dot on the dating sites they actually you can put if you're vaccinated or not on a couple of them so yeah that'll weak a lot of people mm-hmm. if they're so you know, I, not- I i so i trust you try the dating sites Oh yeah, we've talked about this. I'm I've, I'm not doing them right now. I've, I gave up. On I, that. I met Marjorie on a dating site. Yeah, I remember we had this whole conversation because I didn't know what the no. Jewish site was. I never... <laughs> it's called Farmers Only. Uh, 
Yeah. It's called Ashkenazi Mingle. <laughs> Ashkenazi Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> She's going like, what did you guys say? <laughs> that, that's a vague reference, Andrew. Oh, uh, uh, but, it, it, you know, it was, it was uh, it, it, I, when I first started going on dating sites, I felt, I, I, did you feel this way, Mandy and Marjorie? Did you feel this way that you were kind of giving up? <laughs> it is just, it, it's, it is depressing. Especially when you've been on it for like two years and you see the same people. It's like, <laughs> we're, we're really super picky. Like these are the super picky people that will never get off or mm. they just, you know. It's, or they're, 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 they must be too. They're dating site professionals. <laughs> you know, they, they go out on like one date with everybody on my date or whatever those kind of name of the thing would be. Mm. What was ours? Well, ours was J-Date, right? Yeah. But they have Match.com and... I, I was on Match.com and I was on J-Date. Me too. I was on Didn't get days. anything on Match. I don't think I got anybody on Match.com, but J-Date, I wound up with you. Huh. And I'll never, and I'll never subscribe to them again. <laughs> what did you say? Didn't work out. What, which one were you on? Sorry, somebody's copying outside my office. I said, I, met, I went out with somebody right at the beginning of COVID last year. Um, well, when it got warm, it was kind of nice because he had a boat. So we were outside all the time. <laughs> but, you know, that just kind of fizzled out. He was always really busy with his, he had two sons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, the one. Isn't it better? <laughs> oh, nice. She's gone. I was going to say, isn't it better? Because then you... Mandy, isn't it better because then you sort of weed out and you find people that have interests instead of meeting somebody out and then, you know, it takes yeah. a long time just to sort of weed through all their BS. We dated a guy this year um, that I met on a site called Hinge. Mm -hmm. um, very interesting guy. Again, he has a young son. Even though he's 52 years old, he has a 10-year-old. And that just, I'm just at a different point in my life. Yeah, you, know? you don't need that kind of baggage with you. Yeah. 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 Just make sure, make sure you bring him on the show so we can approve of that. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. Important. Yeah. He, has to, he has to accept us as much as he has accepted. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also I that about the show. I told him he was he's very much a liberal. He you know, I told him about the show. He thought it was cool. But the guy last year, he was conservative. He's a Trumper. That's why I was just like, Oh, well, there you go. Get rid of him. Right away. <laughs> Let him the show, I mean, as soon as I finally, when I finally asked him who he voted for, he told me, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That other guy, like I said, just um, as a matter of fact, I talked to him last night and he was he was saying, oh, you know, I'm really sad it didn't work out. You know, I was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> this was the Trump guy. Mandy, I'm just curious. Would it be possible to overlook a, a Trumper? I, I can't imagine. Nope. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I mean, you can't. You well, can't do that. <laughs> let's put it this way. This was before the 2020 election when we were talking. This was last year I dated this guy. And so I had a feeling that he was probably going to vote for Trump again. And I just can't forgive that. I can yeah. almost forgive the for voting for him the first time. Yeah, yeah. You know, holding your nose, couldn't stand Hillary, that kind of thing. But, and you're, you know, just a moderate Republican, which I have plenty of friends that did that. But the second time after having him in office, there there's was no forgiveness. No. But, okay. Okay. But so the gentleman on this site, if you met some girl who was just drop dead gorgeous and everything, would you be able to oversight that? I I would. Guys would no, say, I would yeah. Not. Oh, I would come not. on, Charlie. I don't think I, no, I, I would gotta hold. be able to talk to her and I can't talk to a Trump. No, no I, I would not. Sorry, I can't. There's uh, a problem, Brian. In the morning, mm. they talk. Right. Yeah. yeah, 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 and and You'd be surprised I, how many guys on their profiles will say, "If you're a liberal, you just need to swipe left." Like I ain't got time for you. Oh, wow. I say that well, as like, like okay, you're, if you're not that's a liberal. Fine. You that's fine. That's fine. You know, uh, right but I could not. I if I found out that some woman I was going out with was a voted for Trump or was voting for Trump or was for Trump, I just I couldn't continue going out with them. I just oh. couldn't do it. You know, that looks was the hell I mean, I really nice guy, cute, very successful. He had all the boxes checked, but I, he he was just starting to show some things about his personality that were very icky, you know, the conservative. Well, of, you know, if you took it further, you would have to live with that person's politics as right. well. Yeah. You know, yes. and I, I just I couldn't do it. 
you know. I mean, I've told the story about the woman I met who turned out to be quite racist. Mm-hmm. And as we're driving yeah, he- back home to my place to do what we're going to do, okay, she says, you know something, these N-words, N- I can't stand, man. They're just getting too uppity or something like that. Oh. And, and I dumped her off in the middle of the Bowery. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I said, I, said I, I know my dick is speaking here for the moment, but it is saying, it's also saying no. so anyway hey listen we've run over we just that this is the nicest time i have all week i'm you know i was mentioning the other night that the nighttime crew must hate me because this is like the other child i have that i love more (laughs) uh but you guys are just great and women as well Uh, uh charlie always a pleasure to have you here uh and uh, uh edward Berger. oh god that's right <laughs> go ahead say it that's, yeah. all. that's all folks <laughs> that's his real voice by the way I, that's as far right. as, I didn't borrow it from anybody <laughs> no you couldn't possibly borrow it from anybody <laughs> len lafrisco thank you scott bodiker down in texas thank you mandy o'brien over there in jaja <laughs> With the great Christmas tree. Boy, was that a good looking tree. And and I'm Jewish. I shouldn't know from a good looking Christmas tree. (laughs) Steve Bender, always a pleasure. You got to get your ass up here. Okay. When when I don't have to put my life at risk to do it, then you get. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Well, you know, uh, we'll we'll, we'll do it as soon as it, as soon as the temperature on COVID cools down, you, you, and the, your wonderful lady. As soon as the numbers go down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marjorie, Mar- Marjorie, uh, come by and see me anytime. Okay. Uh, and Jeff Stein, I've been very quiet today, but that's okay. I know, but it's so nice to see everybody. Again. Yeah, that's what's well, nice yeah. to have you here. You know, right. doesn't matter if you talk. Uh, Andrew Deutsch, thank you. We always miss you when you're not here, and uh, today you're here. So thank you. Uh, Mark Thorner, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. When I see your face, I go, Ah, that's cool. And of course, Brian Neary, thank you. And congratulations on finally letting your girlfriend make an honest man out of you. (laughs) Everybody wave goodbye and I'll wave goodbye at you. And we'll sign this all off and say we'll do this again next week. Mondays at four o'clock. Bye. 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 Bye.